Howdy friends, Yogi Jeremy here. Today's class is gonna be all about the outer hips, some IT band, some outer fibers of the hamstring stuff, basically all up in here. So we're gonna target this with some stretches on our back, seated, standing. We'll do a ton of yoga poses. I'll throw the kitchen sink of yoga poses at this part of the body. Not a strenuous flow, not a lot of chaturanga up dog, just more some basic hatha, just working from pose to pose, really targeted to get into the outer hips. So you may want two blocks with you. We'll start on the ground as you're ready. Come lay all the way back. You can make yourself comfortable with your knees bent and your feet on the ground. Let's bring a hand to heart and a hand to belly. Two breaths to arrive. Take a good inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, allowing yourself to slow down. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth and releasing whatever it is you've been doing before this. Okay, from here, our classic figure four. Let's bring the right ankle to the left knee. You can slide your ankle bone just a little bit across the left knee and flex your right ankle a bit. As you grab your left thigh, you can grab the hamstring or the shin. Let your head be relaxed on the ground. If it's not, and you could use something under the head, then just hit a quick pause, grab a blanket, and put a blanket under your head for a little lift. Otherwise, breathing into the hips and the right hip and the right outer glute stuff that you feel there. And remember, it's yoga, so more breath will bring more benefit. Both helping the muscles stretch and the nervous system relax. And a couple more breaths. If you wanna intensify this a little bit, you can bring your right hand and push your right knee away from you as you hold your left knee steady. Good. And then keeping your right ankle at your left knee for a moment, just bring your left knee to the floor and then see if you can grab your right foot and right knee as you extend your left leg a little bit more. And you can grab around your foot or shin, however you want. And we're just gonna bring the foot towards the head. And you can lift your head towards your foot. And if you want and it feels good, you can extend your left leg all the way out. Otherwise, you can keep your left knee bent. We won't be here as long. You're just going two more breaths here as you lift head to foot and release. Both knees bend, both feet to floor. One breath just to feel perhaps a little asymmetry and the differences between the sides. And then right to the other side, left ankle to the right knee, grabbing your right thigh, drawing in for your figure four, <clears throat> and feeling at the outer left hip as you flex your left ankle just a bit. Couple more breaths if you want, a little more sensation. You can use your left hand to push your left knee away from you and hold that right knee in place for leverage. Good. Keep the ankle to knee for now and just bring the right foot to the floor, pause. And go ahead and take hold of your left ankle and shin. You can wrap it around your arm or go under the leg and catch the ankle. Walk your right foot a little further out and bring your head towards your left ankle. You may feel pretty good, intense stretch there. 
You may extend your right leg for a little bit more stretch or bring your head closer. Just two breaths. Holy outer hips, Batman. One more. Good. Release that. Feet to the ground. Pause. Good breath in. Good breath out. And then one way or another, you can roll to the side or you can rock your way up. We're going to come up onto hands and knees. When you get there, just a couple cat cow arching your back on your inhale and rounding your back on your exhale. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Want the whole body to be loose. One more. Drop the belly, lift your chest, and exhale round, press away. From here, walk the hands a little forward. Pike your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Give yourself a moment. Feel free to rock your heels up and down. Keep dropping your head and chest low. So really lengthening the arms and pushing the ground away. Good breath in, good breath out. For a lot of us, the knees will stay bent and the heels stay lifted, that's fine. Just try to keep your sit bones rising up and back, your chest dropping down. Good breath in, good breath out. From here, we're gonna bend the left knee a little bit more and just look under the right shoulder for a moment. You may feel a little heightened sensation on the outer right thigh. Take the right hip a little back. And then change, bend the right knee a lot. Look under the left shoulder and take the left hip a little back. Then bend both knees a lot, look forward. And make your way to the top of the mat as you step or float up. Bring the hands to shins halfway up. And exhale, refold. In your fold, we're gonna go ahead and walk the hands a little to the right. Now you can use the ground or you may use one of your blocks here. So ground or block. And as you walk your hands to the right, about one or two o'clock, keep your feet parallel, hip width or so, and let your hips push a little to the left. As you push your hips to the left, feel free to bend your right knee a little bit. and feel the whole outer left side of your body. Good breath in. Good breath out. Slowly through the middle, walk your hands to your left, about 10 or 11 o'clock, feel free to use the block. Push your hips a little to the right while you bend your left knee. Hips push to the right, left knee bends, and you feel that all through the right side of your body. Good breath in. Good breath out. Slowly back to center. Halfway lift, inhale. And deeply fold, exhale. Inhale to rise all the way up. Reach your arms up overhead and interlace your palms here for a moment and just let yourself side to side. Let it feel good. Right back to center and release your arms down. One good breath in, standing tall, feeling energy in your body. And a good breath out. Open the eyes and you're gonna step your left leg a little back and to the right. With your right hand to your hip, your left arm reaches over. So your left leg goes back and your left arm reaches over. And then right back to the top of your mat, left hand to your hip. Step the right leg back, reach the right arm over. We'll do this two more times, just getting into the whole side body. Step forward. Left leg back, left arm reaches over. And the crazy thing is, these are deceptively tricky. They look super simple. Step forward, right leg back, right arm up. 
But if you feel a little shaky and wobbly here, you're not alone. I'm concentrating my face off, just try not to fall over while I tell you how to do it. One more time. I don't know why it's so hard. It's a small step and a side bend, but maybe we just don't move in this pattern a lot, so it's new to us. Either way, give yourself a break. One more time. Right leg back, right arm over. Good. Back to center. All the arms reach up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Halfway lift, look forward. And the right foot comes back, right knee to floor, low lunge. Take the arms up on the inhale. Interlace your palms, press forward and up. And then side bend to your left a little, breathing into the whole right side of the body. If you need to, bring your left hand to your hip. Good breath in. Good breath out. Back to center, setting up for your half splits. Bring your hands to the ground or blocks. Lengthen your front leg by pulling your hips back and just give that leg a little scooch forward. So that you land on the heel and you pull your toes back a bit. And then bring the blocks close to the shins. So you don't have to work too hard. You don't need to be out here. And then in this split, since we're focusing on outer thigh, we're gonna do a variation. You can either turn your body to the left, so the chest comes over towards about 11 or 10 o'clock, and you'll probably feel a little bit more of this stuff in here. Or you can actually take your hands and blocks to the left about 11 or 10 o'clock, and you'll feel a lot more stuff on that outer thigh. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. One more, breathing in, and breathing out. Bring the blocks back to center, bend the knee, give yourself a little space, step forward and fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, deeply fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, let's try it again. Inhale, take the arms up. And then listen, side bend to your right as you step your left leg back. Left arm reaches over. Here we go, don't fall. Back to the top. Right leg back and right arm up. Two more times. Hold your hip as you side bend, but don't hold your breath. Last one. I don't know what it is. These never get easier. Back to center, lift up, lay the arms back and fold again. Halfway up like a deadlift and step your left foot back for your low lunge. Knee comes to floor, arms reach, palms interlace. Remember, you can always cushion your knee with a blanket if you need. Side bend to the right, pushing with your palms or bringing your right hand to your hip. Breathing in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Hands to center, half splits with a twist. Bring the blocks a little closer or come onto your fingertips. As you pull your hips back, you're gonna wiggle that right heel a little forward till you find your space that has some length. And then again, you can either turn your chest a little to the right towards one or two o'clock and feel some outer thigh stuff as you squeeze your legs a little in. Or walk your hands or blocks over to the right towards one or two o'clock as you tuck your right thigh bone back. Breathing and thinking, holy IT band Toledo Batman. That's what you're thinking, right? Me too. Two 
Two more here. Find the way that you can be relaxed, which actually paradoxically allows you to be more productive. Hands come back to center. Bend the knee. Give yourself a little space. Step forward and fold. Good. Halfway lift. Exhale, refold. All the way up. Lift the arms and the hands come into the heart. Give a breath just to feel. Okay. Last one with our dance. Here we go. Left leg back, left arm for the side bend. Feel free to really press into it more. Back to the top, right leg back. You can go for more of a crisscross if you're feeling comfortable. Right arm up, side bend. Two more. Big step or small step. Feeling from the lats, the whole side body into that outer hip. Last one. Amazing. Top of the mat, arms up. Lay it back, forward fold. This time in your fold, we're gonna lift up halfway and you can bring your hand or block about 12 inches in front of you, right in the middle of the mat, bending your left knee and reaching your right arm to the right. As you do this, you can tuck your right hip a little back and turn your chest up as you look up. Left knee is bending, right leg is pretty straight and you're feeling some outer right thigh stuff. Good breath in, good breath out. Change, right hand to the floor or block, 12 inches in front of you, bend your right knee. Left leg pretty straight, left arm goes up. You can look up or to the side, whatever's comfortable. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Fold. Halfway lift. Deadlift. No turtle shell like Coach Clarence always says. Exhale, refold. Okay. Get blow both blocks. Blow blocks. Get both blocks ready. <laughs> right foot stays forward and the left leg comes back. You're in your runner's lunge. Okay, so now you're in your runner's lunge and your back leg is up this time. Inhale here, exhale, fold over your right leg, forehead to knee. Again, bend the knee, inhale, lift your chest, fold over the leg, forehead to knee. One more, bend the knee, inhale, fold forehead to knee. Bend the knee, inhale, and then this time, right arm's gonna go forward and up for your twist as you reach up high. And then staying here in the twist, but see if you can now straighten your right leg. As you do, bring your back heel forward and squeeze your legs together as you reach up. It's a variation of your revolved triangle pose, but your back heel is up, which lets you rotate more. So the right leg is as straight as it can go. Leg squeezing in, reaching up. One more good breath in. Good breath out. Hands down, bend the knee, look forward, step forward and fold. Halfway lift and refold. Get the blocks ready. Right leg steps back, or your bloaf blocks ready. Runner's lunge, left foot is forward. Same, same. Bend the knee, lift your chest, inhale. Fold over the leg, exhale. Keep going. On these, I like to keep my front toes down the whole time, which helps me stretch the top of the ankle as well as the hamstring. One more, inhale. Fold over the leg, exhale. 
bend the knee in now. This time, left arm goes forward and up for your twist. Breathing here in the twist, and then start to straighten your left leg as much as reasonable. Bring your back heel, the right one, a little closer and higher. Scissor the legs in, spiral the chest up, and try not to freak out. Breathing in, breathing out, two more, just like that. Slowly, hands down, bend the knee. This time, as you move your blocks, it's downward facing dog. Good breath in as you lengthen your arms. Good breath out as you lift your hips. One more. Good breath in. Good breath out. Okay. Have a seat, however you like. Bring the shins or knees forward and the legs come out in front. As the legs come out in front, you can go ahead and cross your right ankle over your left knee. Some of us will bend the knees a good amount, all good. With your right ankle over your left knee, start to walk your hands forward any degree. If you wanna grab those blocks again, super cool. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. One more, letting your heart melt forward, breathing in. And breathing out. Slowly walk it back and change. Left ankle crisscrosses over the right. Knees can bend, no problem. Start to walk forward any degree. Each exhale lets you sink in a little bit more. One more. Slowly rise back up. Super nice. And to finish, a butterfly, Baddha Konasana, nice and symmetrical. Bring the feet closer together. They can be in towards the groin or they can be a little bit away from the groin, that's okay. Give your nice lift and exhale, bow forward. If it feels good, you can let the elbows weigh on the shins. You can do a gentle side to side, but you don't have to push too hard. Or you can just start to continue and melt forward. One more good breath in and a good breath out. Slowly come back up, cross the legs and turn towards each other for a moment of mindfulness. And if you want to keep mixing it up, notice which way you just crossed your legs and do the opposite because that's probably the pattern that could use a little more. Nice and tall, eyes soft or closed. Feel into the vibration in a lot of your side body, a lot of your outer hips and legs. Even with the physically technical practice, ultimately we're bringing more refined awareness into the body so that we can shine more refined awareness into our lives and to optimize the things that are challenging to undo the knots in the ways that we show up to work in relationship. It's all really the same. So whatever you cultivated here with a compassionate sense of slowly opening up your body, see if you can take that off the mat 
in a compassionate way to keep your heart open to those around you too. Thanks for practicing today. See you soon.